I look like shit. Here comes the Kezia Queen. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Did you bring me a cookie? I like Thank this. You. Thank you, it's from Civil Regime. I'm gonna eat this right now. Um, Kezia's <laughs> here. <laughs> I eat to the cookie. <laughs> mm, this is good. All right, let's go to Five Below. Right. <laughs> hey, everyone. Hey. I look so bad. <laughs> this is weird. Hold on, I'm getting my, my Sprite Zero. Um, hello, incels. <laughs> Just fizzed a lot. Cheers. That felt unsanitary. <laughs> so, hi. Um, this is the first ever, hopefully it works out, live, <laughs> not live, in-person podcast episode. Um, Kezia is back in this fucking shithole <laughs> for a little bit. So, uh, um, Insert picture of the road we're on. <laughs> right, honestly. <laughs> Um, so we're going to, um, try and do a podcast today. We are in my car, so <laughs> Wait, can we get some better lighting? Is that better? I think that might be worse. <laughs> yeah. Close her up. Um, so what are we doing today, Miss Ma'am? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I went through and compiled a list of... You can put that Thank you. I went through and compiled a list about 30 minutes ago <laughs> of um, basically like events, like pop culture, like big political events that happened in 2020. And we're going to do like a word association. <laughs> Just whatever happens, happens pretty much. Pretty much. Um, so basically, I'm going to read one of these things. And then if you want me to talk about it and like explain it, I can. Um, you can also choose to skip. Okay. Um, but you basically say like a word or phrase, like the first thing that comes to your mind. Sounds good. Also to clarify, we are in a park right now. So if we have any like distractions, um, I'll try and film it. Um, <laughs> we've got, hold on, let's see if we can get the boat in the back. Um, one of the boats <laughs> we used to row in, just um, hanging out, just tarped up, just chilling in the park. They're just waiting for it to die. Okay. So we're going to start off with like big like okay. world events. Sounds well, good. a lot of them are US events, but like more political stuff. And then we'll move into pop culture. So, first we have the Australian bushfires. Koalas. Oh. Yeah. I did love seeing the rescue videos of the koalas though. They did get a lot of them, which made me feel good. But... Yeah, I feel like in every picture of the bushfire videos that we got here, there was a picture of a koala. Yeah, completely. Uh, US almost starting World War III by drone striking Soleimani. <sighs> fuck, like that's the only word. It's just like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like I can't. That was so terrifying. Uh, my word for that one is no. <laughs> um. Oh. President Trump impeachment. Oh yay! <laughs> um, I do. I did love all the memes that were like, "How are they gonna fit his fat ass in a peach?" Um, but other than that, I am disappointed that they didn't like really go get him. You know? Yeah. Well, it's you know, good old Mitch. Fucking Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. <laughs> My favorite video that exists is the one where John McCain, like, who is supposed to be dead at that point coming into the senate and like voting no for like whatever horrible evil scheme mitch mcconnell had got going on that day and just like seeing mitch mcconnell be like <laughs> anyways parasite winning best picture that was good that was yeah. a really good thing um mm, i have word association Mm, classes class warfare maybe for that movie what okay i like that <laughs> oh god there are like these two emo kids walking around if they come <laughs> uh stock market crash i wasn't even like aware that happened until like three weeks after i was like well yeah oh no amazon lost 
money. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the government did a big bailout and like it didn't affect most of us because most of us aren't invested in the stock market because we don't have money and most of us don't have 401ks because we don't have stable and it just like proved to me that money isn't real like mm -hmm. whenever they were like oh we'll just invest 13 trillion dollars into the stock market i was like 13 trillion huh or it was three trillion but still i was like oh we've got that much oh well that's the national debt b <laughs> debt to who i don't know i don't finance I'm, majors <laughs> come comment down below I'm this really is your like, time to shine, babes. I'm really putting my poli side degree to work here. <laughs> Should I put my hood up and just look like an absolute gremlin? I mean... Oh, yeah. Pete Maddie's sweatshirt. Oh, yeah. Civil Regime sponsored me. I've got so many of your hoodies because I love them so much. Um, okay. Uh, BLM protests. Hard. It was hard for that to be happening. It was yeah. a good thing it was happening... But it was a hard time, and it was also hard because I wasn't allowed out of the house for those because yeah. of COVID. So I am, it was, I think also, honestly, a lot of that would not have happened if people hadn't been inside for months. I think that a lot of people kind of used that as a reason to go out, which is yeah. a good reason to go out. But also, I think that is kind of where the performance activism took its, like, peak and really started. They were like, well, we went out for BLM, so, like... It's like, babes, you just wanted to go out. It's okay. You can say it. You yeah. want to hang out with your friends. Um, but I think in general, it was a good thing to happen. And, and unfortunate that it did have to happen. Oh, God. Why are there so many fucking kids in this park? Uh, Yo, Davin, do you want to go smoke some fucking weed? Oh, they're like five. They're not even... Those kids are not smoking. They're not cool. <laughs> I'm going to go kick soccer ball around. You want to go sit on the top of the hill and watch the cars go by and just talk about life? Us. Yeah. <laughs> us right now. <laughs> right, dead ass. Us in a car. We couldn't even get out of the car because it's too cold. I'm just watching my childhood, like, walk in that direction. <laughs> this is the first time we've ever done something in the middle of the day. <laughs> yeah, right. It's usually at, like, 12.30 p.m. <laughs> One of us is impaired somehow. Okay, um... <laughs> Kim Jong-un death rumor. That was so funny. That was so funny. <laughs> Only thing was like, I, I am so bad at word association. It's just, that was my initial reaction. It's so funny. Like, <laughs> people had this meme of him, like, it was like, you know those giant play sets, like in the mall and stuff? <laughs> And they have like a zip line and sometimes people would pretend to be dead on them, which first of all, that is an A1 meme in and of itself. <laughs> but they'd be like, it would be like a, a video of someone like swinging down one of those and it'd be like, North Korea be like, oh, here comes our glorious leader. <laughs> when everyone was like, who's going to succeed him? And they were like, oh, the media lady. <laughs> like, Putin. Is Putin on the list? Putin stepping down? No. Yeah. I forgot about that. Putin... First of all, I saw a video of Vladimir Putin the other day being kissed by his babushka. Hmm. Why was it hot? Babushka, babushka, babushka. All right, move on, move on, move on. Murder hornets. That was like such a brief thing in the depression that I was in during COVID that yeah. it like, it didn't even really, I was like, well, fuck it. Like, yeah, it didn't come to where we were. So we kind of forgot about it. Yeah. Um, Cause it wasn't like a, whole it wasn't a, like a big thing in the u.s and there were other there were other things going on <laughs> <laughs> that was the point of i'm pretty sure that was the point in quarantine where i was like taking melatonin during the day because it was easier to be asleep there we go uh west coast wildfires those happen every year so i'm never like surprised by them really it's yeah. like you would think by fucking now california would have like a better system about it like yeah but i mean not disappointed but not surprised yeah i have family on the west coast i have since i've been a baby and like every year it's a little scary but like they're we're all used to it okay uh rbg death so unfortunate yeah so unfortunate now we've got fucking what the fuck is her name amy, amy coney barrett she's on the list fuck too that bitch um, my word for Amy Coney Barrett is disrespectful. I would say groundhog for her, and I don't know why, and I'm not explaining it. Okay, um, Trump COVID. 
That was also infuriating that he didn't die. Like, I was so mad about that. I was like, oh, so you just get to have this, like, experimental, like, magic disease curing thing because you're rich and you're the president? Yeah. Like, literally suck on my fat cock. Also, like, why did he have it for, like, two days? Well, the thing is, they thought he had it before that, and then a bunch of people around him started getting sick. Which, it's a shame that none of them died. It really is. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um i for one is glad I'm, I'm glad he didn't die because we didn't need that kind of martyr that's true okay biden harris win yay i what was infuriating about that was all these like little like white um activists on tiktok being like oh you guys are happy so you guys are happy about this you're happy it's like give us a fucking day Give us a fucking day to be happy. Yes, we're happy. We've got someone who will listen to the right people. Like, no, he's not perfect. But, like, do you expect people to be perfect? Like, no one was perfect. Bernie wasn't perfect. No one's perfect. Yeah. Um, and I think that people being mad about Biden winning really does show this kind of level of privilege that is in this, like, society. It's like, well, if we can't have the one we want, we don't even want the second best choice. Like, yeah. The caveat of the two-party system, the caveat of American democracy is that sometimes, like you will be in positions where you're voting for things that you don't necessarily want. Like, it was both of our first times voting and like the, uh, not voting. In like presidential. Presidential voting, yeah. um, which was very exciting. Um, and it felt good, especially because in Pennsylvania, it came down to like, our county was important. Like yeah. in Pennsylvania, it was like a really big like push and pull because we've got fucking philly harrisburg and pittsburgh and then we've got Pennsylvania all in the middle yeah which is a bunch of like inbred hicks so bucks county came through though bucks, Co bucks county i kiss your forehead i have never been thankful for bucks county until now oh but yeah i'm i'm really i'm hyped about the election i am too and i think that like obviously you can be upset you can be whatever but like we should at least be thankful it's not Trump. And also, like, millennials and Gen Z, like, we're about to start outnumbering the boomers, so... Especially with this COVID thing going on. It would have been really nice to have another extra 300,000 votes, wouldn't it, Trump? It would have been so nice. But look where we are. Oh, my God. <laughs> it would have been good for him, huh? I just realized that. Anyways, pop culture time. <laughs> Yay! All right, this will be a little bit less... I realized I'm not doing word association at all, but it is just nice to like. <laughs> it's nice to talk it out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle leaving the royal family. I love that. John Mulaney, I know he's a topic right now, but he did a good bit about them or just like talked about them where he was like, Meghan Markle, you joined like the prissiest family and what you're surprised that they want you to act properly. Like, yeah. I was like a big Meghan Markle fan at first because I was like, oh, she's this like pretty American divorcee mixed actress. Like she's just like, she's something that I thought the royal family needed. And then she started behaving the way she did. And I was like, <laughs> silence in the court. <laughs> um, we have a couple deaths. We're just going to skip those okay. unless you want to. I mean, let's hear them. Oh, uh, Chadwick Boseman. Mm hmm. That one was sad. Yeah. It was also, like, really shocking because he was, like, so young. Good yeah. man. Other shocking deaths of 2020, Kobe Bryant. That was a, a, a big one. That, that was, was tragic. And his daughter, especially his daughter. Like, I feel like, I don't know, controversial. Kobe lived, like, a very full and, like, fulfilling life. Yeah. And his daughter hadn't had that opportunity yet. So I feel like in a way that is way more tragic to me. Yeah. Like, he, like, accomplished so much and she did not have the chance. So, like, while it's bad for both, like, I feel like hers makes me a little bit sadder. I see that. I don't know if I agree, but I see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Zoom. What about it? <laughs> I, I don't know. Every article that was like pop culture things, it was like Zoom calls and like everyone's so irritated because they have to take Zoom calls now. 
And it's to like, be fair, our podcast is mainly formatted on Zoom. Yeah. And it does us dirty. Like, it's there have been episodes of the podcast that have been really good, really funny. We had one about wedding dresses that was baller. And Zoom was like, I forgot about that one. Like, I was like, what I was doing the whole time. I was like, what the fuck? And then other times, like, I don't know. But overall, I think Zoom is like a good thing. It's better than fucking Skype. But like... <laughs> Oh my god, Skype. We have to figure out how to use OBS this year. Like, my goal... <laughs> yeah, I was trying to Twitch stream the other day, um, so we might start doing that. Okay. Yeah, our goal, a goal for this year is to, like, learn how to not Podcast. use... <laughs> Actually do this. Right. Um, if we get 2,000 subs, though, we're gonna get inner lip tattoos. 2,000? Is that the... Uh... Oh, did I say 2,000? Oh, did you say 1,000 or 2,000? I meant 1,000. Oh. Okay, yeah, if we get 1,000 subs, come on, like, you can do this. Like, like, share, subscribe, do all that. We're gonna get pog inner lip tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> Matching ones. So. We even, like, we know a tattoo shop we're going to. Right. Um... So, like, come on, babes, make this happen. Um, okay, next we have Zendaya... And her Emmy win for Best Actress in a Drama. She's the youngest person to ever win that award. That's good. I don't know much about Zendaya. Um, I don't. I don't know much about her other than she's she's pretty and she's not Bella Thorne. So, uh, next up we have Tiger King. <sighs> not right. <laughs> it's just not right. Nothing about that show was right. Hold on, I'm trying to get it. Um, there we go. The only good thing that Tiger King brought us was the Jeffrey Star memes. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that was... That was good. That was <laughs> Everything else was just like, everyone's like, isn't this crackhead funny? And I was like, please stop. Like, <laughs> Yeah, well, I remember like in AP Gov in high school, we like used Joe Exotic's video as an example of like third party <laughs> candidates. <laughs> And so yeah. I put on Tiger King and I was like, oh my god, this is Joe Exotic. Yeah. What the fuck? So I thought it was going to be like a political drama no. about like his campaign. No. <laughs> and, we like, wish it was. And they just like kind of brushed over like Doc Antle's weird like zoo cult. It was just like... It was just it didn't Netflix feel right. loves to exploit things. They're mm -hmm. like, oh, this child was brutally murdered by his parents. Let's make a documentary. I'm like, um, let's let him rest in peace, shall we? Like, yeah, they... oh, these animals are being tortured and not taken care of correctly. Documentary, but let's make it funny though. It's like, fuck you, Netflix. And they like, did like casting Jamine Ramsey. Do you remember yeah, that one? So like, inappropriate like things that just don't sit right <laughs> megan the stallion she's great um this was the year of meg uh, she, very controversial don't really know why like Is i just she? people seem to like think she's more controversial than stuff i just feel like she's similar to nikki like not that that's a oh he just took a spill um not that that's a bad thing but like everyone's like oh my god i can't believe she's talking about her pussy i'm like Nicki Minaj did it before, Cardi did it before, like, what's so weird about this? Yeah. Like, uh, Missy Elliott did it before, like, all of these, it's just, like, I feel like a new generation of, like, incels has discovered black women speaking about their vagina and it makes them uncomfortable, so I feel like that's part of the reason why Megan is controversial. But yeah. Love I don't her. Think, I don't think she's controversial, like, in real life, though. I don't know, maybe on, just on TikTok, and that's the only yeah. perspective I'm getting. It's controversial with, like, the pick-me squad. Mm -hmm. Like, I would never speak about my vagina that way. It's like, well, good for you. <laughs> What's the one where they're like, stop shaking your booty? <laughs> um, but yeah, I like, I like Meg. I think that it's good. She's, like, openly bisexual. Is and, she? Like, yeah. Oh, her whole thing, though. Okay, you know what pissed me off about Megan B. Stallion? Her thing with Tory Lanez. Girl, oh, I don't, yeah. I don't you, like, care. Shot her? I do not care. And how she didn't fucking report it. You need to be able to hold people accountable for their actions. And if the police officer is asking you, did this man hurt you? Did he shoot you? Did whatever. You have to say yes. Because you not doing that gives him the freedom to do it to someone else. And that is just something that I'm not okay with. People need to be held accountable legally for their actions. Not just by the internet. Because they can't do that. Yeah. So Also, you don't have to press charges. No. You just like... You can it, file report but it needs to be there it has to be on file because the thing is like 
you don't just like shoot people like you just don't you can't do that i don't care how rich of a rapper you are like and you're gonna let fucking tory lanes shoot you and get away with it tory fucking lanes are you serious and like Anyways. i i understand that we have to like protect black people and like keep black people out of prison because it's like a problem but also like shooting no, people is not okay yeah like, you can't not... be shooting people okay um harry styles being very queer this year that's good i i love i love seeing a man a man doing feminine things i think it's a good example against toxic masculinity yeah i think i think it's good i love to see it we all knew harry was like is gay. he confirmed to be gay or is he just he's like bi oh okay that i think that's confirmed right. it's confirmed in my mind <sighs> um <laughs> we have a series of elon musk things okay elon musk chip <laughs> skip <laughs> elon musk space skip elon musk baby name all right let's chat <laughs> I think it was cool. I think Archangel's a cool name. Like, I don't know. I don't love Musk. I don't love Grimes. So it's like, I like Grimes much more than I like Musk. But both of them, I think, should have gone to therapy before they had a child. Because now they're just going to have a rich kid with daddy and mommy issues. Like, some people just aren't uh, equipped. <laughs> Elon Musk, who has six children already. Not oh my god, equipped. he does. Also, he's abusive, question mark? I don't know about that. I think he's fucking weird. I don't know about abusive. The jury's still out in my mind on that. Yeah, I don't know enough about it. I think he just has borderline personality disorder, and because he's a man, everyone's like, it's great! But whenever, like, Roseanne Barr goes off, everyone's like, you fucking witchy whore! I didn't know she was black! <laughs> I thought the bitch was white! <laughs> oh, that's what it was. <laughs> Roseanne, my, my queen. She's like, the, the devil on my shoulder is Roseanne Barr. That's, that's how I like to think of it. The devil on my shoulder speaks to me the way Roseanne speaks. It's like, fucking scream at your mother! Going off of Elon Musk, um, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Fucking A. Uh, I, there's so much going on about that, I can't. It's like, everyone's like, he abused her, she abused him. I'm like, they can abuse each other. Like, yeah. in relationships, sometimes both people are the problem. Yeah, my phrase for that one is, um, please end it. <laughs> The Shane Jeffrey Tati James. I loved that. <laughs> there was so much fun. Yes. There was nothing going on and then everything was going on. I'm sick of all of them. I can't watch any of them anymore. They're just all so fucking annoying. Like, um, James especially. I was like, oh, he came out on top. And then I see that he's at, like hanging out with like Charlie D'Amelio. I'm like, oh, what? what is going on? Yeah. Is he part of the Saddle Ranch gang? Yeah. <sighs> no, I know. That's actually one of my topics. Saddle Ranch. Saddle Ranch. <laughs> Saddle Ranch. Oh, fuck. Like, just stay the fuck home. I agree with yeah. Ariana. Like, I didn't know anything about it Tesla. until... Oh. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know anything about Saddle Ranch until Emma Chamberlain got on her podcast. Mm. And, like, she went off. Um, but yeah, I, I, I can't stand any of those fools. And every time I watch a Peter Mon video, which is hard to do as it is, oh. <laughs> so he's like, oh, Shane's going to try to make a comeback. <laughs> and I'm like, he better not. Like, what is Shane doing other than like killing his animals? Like, J -j -j Jada and the Smiths. <laughs> I wrote that in my notes. <laughs> that was just i don't know i feel like jada pinkett smith has this like entitlement about her that needs to go away and i think that kind of took her down a little bit but still she still is like not great like i've seen people speak out on like their experience at red table talk about like how they degrade sex workers and how they're just like mm. not great people and i've said it before and i'll say it again i don't think the smiths are good people like i just i mean willow and jaden are like whatever i can't juries out but like jada and will like they've been around for too long to be good like 
yeah something's just not I right i feel like if there is an illuminati like they have like there's no way they're not in it um i Jaden and willow make great music so i'm just like i really they make like, music i like willow's music <laughs> moving on <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres being a bourgeoisie boomer. Are we surprised? Like, no. <laughs> like, look at her. <laughs> like, it's like, it made me kind of sad because, like, I looked up to her for, like, a long time because mm -hmm. um, I didn't know I was gay. <laughs> Moving on, uh, the Madonna bathtub video where she called coronavirus the great equalizer. That was funny. I'm sorry. Like, I don't care. Like... <laughs> That was fun. That was funny. Vanessa Ann Hudgens like being like, I mean, people are gonna die. <laughs> it's really, really good. Um, yeah, well, there are three of you. So, um, there are three. I love it when celebrities like speak their mind without like a PR team being there. Like, I love that. Like, it's just like this level of realness it's that us. we don't get. Like, we don't get that a lot. And like, I don't really, I don't care if it's controversial, kind of, because I'm like. Well, I know it's legit. There's major butt crackage happening. Oh, you just missed it. <laughs> now, this is the part of this fucking podcast where something had to go wrong. So I had two other files full of us just talking, and they both got fucking corrupted. So um, we're just going to, instead of talking more about 2020, have some clips from our New Year's. And then I'm just going to hop back in wherever it leaves off because I can't fucking do this anymore. And it is not my fault. I don't even know how the files got corrupted and it's none of my business. So we're just gonna pretend like it didn't happen, all right? This is when we dropped a whole bottle of fucking soy sauce on the floor. And then literally five minutes later, dropped a fucking bottle of spaghetti sauce also on the floor, cleaned up a lot of glass. <laughs> Let's try this again. We in pajamas tonight. <laughs> Happy 2021, ready? Oh God. All right. But yeah, I think that I, I agree that like we just need, we need to stop with like the child star shit. It's just, when has a child star like ever turned out okay? When? You said it. Is that it? Is that everything? Oh, oh. The last one is Elliot Page. Oh, Elliot? Not the name I would have chosen, but yeah. whatever. His choice. I mean, at least he didn't choose Alex. I feel like... Or Kai. <laughs> yeah, I'll cut that Sorry, out. Sorry, I'm maybe. still recovering. No, you won't. <laughs> I, it's true. Like, why is that the go-to? Alex? Or Kai? Is Kai a go-to? It seems to be. Uh, so Alex is like an easy name. Like, right, that's like, like there are people who are like, n like their birth name is Alex and they just go with Alex because it's easy. And it's like gender neutral. -ish, yeah, right? and that's fine. But then like, if your name, like if your dead name is like not anything in the realm of Alex, why would you choose Alex? Really? Yeah. What would your name be if you were a boy? Do you know? Has your mom told you that? Oh, if I was a boy, yeah, what your name? my name would have been Augustus. Thank fucking God. <laughs> Thank God you're a girl. Holy shit. Um, my name... Wait, I'll wait for you to swallow your water. <laughs> Mind you, my mother is a British history major, a European history major, so my name would have been Britain Horatio. I'm not kidding. I'm not. That's, you would have four names, like four big Britain names. Britain Horatio, last name, last name. Yes. <laughs> I did get my name changed after birth. I wasn't born with two last names. I got okay. it when I got adopted. But um yeah, that would have been that would have been rough, huh? But if I had to choose my name, if I was transitioning, I'd probably go with like Mike. <laughs> Michael. Um, if I was transitioning, I would probably do Fern. I'd probably choose Fern! I you know yes. people, trans people named Fern. Like y'all are never, fucking cool. I've never met a trans person named Fern, but I've met a few. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. I but, don't know. Cool. <laughs> All right, I have to pee so badly because I just downed this bitch. Um, so 
Yay. Yay! I think this is a good one. Um, if you like the video, give it a like. If you dislike the video, give it a dislike. If you have something to say, leave us a comment um, or DM us on Instagram. Our Instagram is at toxic.shock.pod. We might get a Twitter soon. Get us to a thousand followers or subs, whatever. Yeah, we, we will get the, not clickbait. Not clickbait. Um, and um, is that it? Yeah. New podcasts every Friday. No time. Just whenever I get done editing. Um, <laughs> and that is all for today. Not good night. Good day, incels. Good day. Good day, incels. <laughs>